Hi everyone! Today I am starting my May Collective Haul. It is May 5th today and I've got a couple orders in and then I have a couple kind of random fun things I wanted to share as well. So let's get started. I think I'm going to start with this Sadie Sticker um, Mystery Kit order. So I just got this in the mail. I actually got it I think yesterday. Um, so this is the April Mystery it looks so beautiful. I love when she does kind of the sneak peek. I think she had shown this box. I was so excited. I love koi fish. It just looks so relaxing and beautiful. It is in rose gold foil. Let me take it out of the cello bag so it's not, um, so you can't see a glare. So let's start first with the kind of four page base kit. This is sort of the normal format and then we'll go into all the extra goodies. So this is again, the April mystery, the full boxes with beautiful rose gold foil. There's so many or many, there's so much foil accents in this kit. It is so pretty. So that's the boxes. This is the, um, I guess this, this page is called boxes. So kind of like different shapes, sizes, everything like that, a little bit of foil. These are gorgeous, very, I think I said it earlier when we were going over the full boxes, but just very like relaxing vibe, very pretty. There's the functional page with kind of the skinnier headers now. Oh, that's cool. It looks like she did instead of a the regular kind of solid line. She did kind of almost like a paint swatch, not a paint swatch, like a pen swatch. You can kind of see it's not like a solid line. I like that. It looks very kind of more like fluid, gentle, pretty. I don't know. It goes with the vibe of the kit. So there's that page. Again, a little bit of rose gold foil. Here, oh, I love this font. I wonder if this is a different font than normal. Um, looks really pretty. So the washi and the date covers, a little bit of um, deco down here, super pretty. There's the beautiful floral. So that's the four page kind of base kit layout. And then you get all these extras with this mystery kit. These are extra add-ons that when she releases kits to her shop, you can buy them as extras, but they come with the mystery kit. So you get a full page of floral deco. This is really nice sized floral pieces, perfect for adding into the memory spread. Um, sometimes the floral pieces can be a little bit on the larger side, but this is, this is a great variety of smaller florals. Then you have kind of the other deco, almost like journaling add-on page. Like this is a huge floral piece. Yeah, this whole thing right here is like a big floral piece. I love all like the birds and the fish. I think it's so pretty. It looks so calming. So I'll definitely utilize this in my Hobonichi or just decorate other things. This is a, in my opinion, kind of nice functional um add-on because I love to use these kind of like um note sticky note boxes in my planner these little pieces can definitely fit in the planner so love that I love the little like stamp that's so pretty so that's this page and then one of my favorite add-ons I love the floral trims that's so gorgeous I like to use these um, up at the top of my planner spreads kind of by the date covers and then I like to use these little smaller ones to mark work and then another one of my favorite add-ons the the foil add-on which she kind of changes up every month so this one's got some of those pretty like koi fish elements lily pads some um plant pieces that kind of match the vibe of the kit what are those are these leaves like little tiny leaves i'm not even really sure but it's kind of like the little tiny dot deco and then you've got some dragonfly date 
date dots and then some little cattails everything like that love this love the foil add-on so that was the April Mystery Kit from Sadie's Stickers. Um, I think you can sign up for Mystery Kits up until the 25th of the month. So the last day to, to get this April Mystery was you had to sign up by March um, 25th. So, yep. Was it, did I say March? Was it March? No, I'm sorry. Oh my gosh. I have the, the months all wrong. I think the last day to get this April mystery kit was April 25th. Because yes, we're in May now. Ugh, okay. It's been a long work week. Like I said, it's 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 almost 5 o'clock. Oh my goodness. Wow. Okay. It's almost 5 o'clock on a Friday. So I'm sorry if I'm a little tired. Okay. So pretty. Let's go into my Scribble Prince Co. Um haul so i purchased this on april 19th because there's something in here that i literally purchased for my husband's birthday because it's just so us and so him and i mean everyone loves this theme i think but here's a little journaling card that came with i'll put it like right there then you have your invoice as well as a freebie. So this is Andrea's 31st birthday freebie. Look at that, super cute. And then, um, that's right, okay. Let me put these to the side because those match the kit. So I got a couple other random things. So I got the breakfast burrito doodles and this is in 524. Because if you've watched any of my plan with me's, um, I was obsessed with some of these like breakfast burritos my husband would make me some days. So I was like, you know what? Let me get a burrito sticker. I've also we also love Taco Bell, so this could this could be for that as well. Then I get Sloane, which is her character doodle. In which one's this one? Laptop. This one is the laptop. It says thirty dash four and then this one is sloan vlog camera because sometimes i make vlogs that i put on my channel every once in a while so i thought this would be a fun way to mark it this one says 26 2. so those were some of my other random items i got then i just when andrea came out with this kit i loved it so I picked it up. I am not going to grease anytime soon, but I just thought the colors and everything was so pretty. So I usually get the ultimate kits from Scribble Prince Co. And they're in glossy. So this is the gorgeous full box page. That's so pretty. And then this is the freebie kit, or sorry, the freebie of the kit, which is a really pretty double box like food scene so those are all the boxes and then this is kind of the functional look at how pretty these colors are I don't know if it's showing how vibrant the pink color is on camera but it is like a hot pink so pretty with the beautiful kind of deep blue some more um full boxes so Lots of full boxes. This is going to be hard to choose which box um, for my spread. Here's kind of the functional little things. Um, uh, solid pattern. And then the washi and date covers with another full box. And then I added on this um, doodle sampler. So it just matches the color theme of the kit. I just love these doodles. So I usually get the add on if I see it. Um, so let me, I'm just gonna add it into this kit so I don't forget about it. So that was the grease kit, so beautiful. Like I said, I am not going to grease anytime soon. 
My coworker actually just went to Greece kind of over spring break. Um, maybe I'll just end up using it sometime in the summer because it's so gorgeous or maybe I'll hang on to it for a little bit. And then this is the kit I felt like I needed to have and I'm think I think I'm gonna hang on to it until my husband's birthday, which it's gonna be a random time to use this because I'm gonna use it in October. But also I feel like it could work because it oops, oh my gosh, I'm dropping everything, I'm pumping everything. Um, it also reminds me like spooky horror, you know, Jaws is kind of a scary movie, which you could watch maybe around Halloween. I don't know. I think it could go. So that is just so cool. We love shark documentaries. He's been obsessed with sharks since he was like little. He knows all these random shark facts. So, oh, I had to get it. Okay. So again, this is the ultimate kit. Then it comes with some more full box sharks. So that's what it looks like. The freebie and then the full boxes. Oh my gosh, I love it. I might have to use like, um, what are they called? Like extender boxes so I can use all these full boxes because I love them. So pretty. Well, well, maybe I shouldn't say pretty, but so like detailed and I love the colors. Wow. I think sharks are really cool, but also I would be terrified if I saw one. <laughs> um, there's the deco. There's some more sharks. There's the glitter headers. Same format as the last one. Those colors are just so pretty. There's another full box and the bottom washi and the date covers. And then here is the doodle sampler that I got for the sharks kit. Love it. And then obviously if you don't use all these doodles with the kit, you can totally just save it. So I am so excited to use this. Like I said, I'm going to actually save it till late October because it just, I try to get kits that kind of remind me of my husband. So in the past I've gotten, I've used a sushi kit because he loves sushi. I've used, um, what else have I used for him? I'm trying to remember. Well, anyway, I try to get kits that kind of remind me of him for his birthday week. Um, Andre came out with another one. I think it was like a Mario theme. I almost got that one for his birthday, but then I don't know, a few weeks later she came out with this one and I'm like, oh my gosh, I need this one. So that was my haul from Scribble Prince Co. And then I have a Planahanna order. Um, I think these ones I purchased with the intention of matching them with some of the caress press kits that I showed last haul I believe again how gorgeous is this packaging I love it um so then we have I think I got five different designs so here's the journaling card and then here are the freebies. So this is the order freebie. And then I put in Sophie Plan's um, coupon code for um, her freebie. Although I don't think I used her discount code. I believe Planahanna was running a sale during the time I made the order, which was a higher per percentage off, I believe, than the PR coupon codes. This one's in kind of like a, maybe like an oil slick hollow. And then this one's in kind of a um, ombre, silver, pink, orange. Really pretty, very summery. All right, here are the bougie underlays that I got. And we have Daisy. Daisy in um, matte gold. 
Oh, okay, fun. So I got matte gold. That is really pretty. It almost looks like kind of a champagne gold. Love that. So I always get two. Although what I want to do in the future is maybe experiment getting different patterns or different foils for one week. I just figure that could be kind of fun at some point. So Daisy in matte gold. We have the tattoo floral in silver. This is really pretty. I could see myself getting this one again. It's super detailed and I don't know. It just has like a lot of foil. Whereas like the Daisy, there's a lot of white space as well. I shouldn't say white space, maybe like transparent space. Whereas this one I feel like is more, I guess, almost busy looking. But I feel like that looks really nice once you put all your boxes over it. It's nice to kind of see some of that foil peeking out. Then we have Groovy in hot pink. Again, love this. I love how, how much foil this pattern has. Isn't that pretty? And then I have Leaves 2.0 in light green. That's what this pattern looks like. And then the last one is Botanical 2. Is that what it is? Yeah, Botanical 2 in coral. It kind of leans, it almost looks red to me, but I feel like her red is maybe even more of a vibrant, like Christmassy red, whereas this is definitely like a lighter red. Um, I could see it, yeah, I could see it being coral. Wow, that's really pretty. It almost, is it roses? It almost looks like roses. So that is my Plana Hannah order. Love using her underlays for my weekly kits now. She has so many options, so definitely check out her Etsy page. Okay, now let's go into some fun stuff. So at, we went to the Mall of America one day, and there was this new store we saw that's called... I don't know. This is the store. So um, it was super cool. It had, it says life store. So it had um, stationery. It had like dishware, stuffed animals, makeup, cleaning supplies, snacks. It was really cool. And we actually ended up getting some snacks. Those we have since eaten. So I can't show you those. But I got some stationery that I thought would be fun to share in this haul. So there was a super cute pen, which I will actually open it now, Sanrio Original. And I had to get it because it says Pachacho. Pa so it says, oh my gosh, I apologize if I'm totally saying that incorrectly. Pachacho. Pa okay, I don't know. Correct me. Correct me in the comments if I'm saying that completely wrong. But the reason I thought that this was so cute was, first of all, it kind of reminds me of Mochi and Minnie. Um, how do I open this? Oh, I was like twisting this and I'm like, oh no, that's not right. It's like opening the pen and it's not a click. But I just noticed, I think you just push down right there on the little clip right here. And we can test it out. So I'm not even sure, does it say on here? I don't even know if it's a gel or a rollerball. I think it's a gel pen. No, this is a rollerball pen. So it's just a regular kind of rollerball pen, but I just had to have it because it's just so adorable. So I love it. <laughs> I love it because it reminds me of Mochi and Minnie. And then, um, this one I thought was really cool because it's got like multiple different colors. This one I think is a gel pen, Jet Stream. And this is in, what is the brand here? Another Sanrio Original. I thought it said the brand Jet Stream. Um, oh, you know what? Actually, this says Ballpoint as well. 
Okay, so this is a ballpoint. Huh, I can't remember. For some reason, I thought the brand when I was in the store said something like, I don't know, I could be wrong. I thought it was like Pilot or something like that. It was a brand I thought I was familiar with. Or is the brand just called Jetstream? Maybe. I don't know. But how cute is this? Oh my gosh, that's adorable. A sweet smile, a pretty melody. That is so adorable. Again, you've got a little clip here. I guess my bad. I was thinking because it said Jetstream, I assumed it was going to be a... Um, a gel pen but let's let's see just test it out nope that one definitely is gel so i don't know it says ballpoint pen on my receipt but it's definitely a gel which i'm glad i prefer gel although i don't mind ballpoint either so that's what it looks like and this one is in 0.5 which that's my favorite. I like a thinner pen. And then this one was also 0.5, I think, right? This one... Where... Does it say... No, I don't see it. I'm not sure exactly the size of this one, but they are just so adorable. I couldn't pass them up. And then how cute is this? Um, just like little... I don't know if it's sticky notes or just a notepad, but I just thought it was adorable. So let's open this. Ooh, it has a little, um, is, uh, what's this called? Vellum? No. Acetate. I love acetate. I love acetate and vellum. I'm a big paper person, texture person. So it's just like a little notepad. It doesn't look like it's a sticky note, but how cute is that? Cooking book. You could put, you know, grocery list. There's another cute, cute design, that one, and then this one. So I love it. I just get sucked into adorable stationery. So that was my little haul from the mall. And then, oh my gosh, just hit something on the desk, but wanted to share another Ulta haul. So I got actually kind of a lot. So I was having a really busy day at work and um, very stressful and I definitely did some retail therapy. So the first thing I'll show is actually going to be a gift. So I'm not going to open this or anything, but this is a little Tree Hut gift set sugar, sugar scrub in strawberry and candied lemon. So this is going to be a gift. It's really heavy. I don't personally use sugar scrubs, but um, but this is actually for Brandon's mom So for Mother's Day. So Brandon kind of picked it out. He's like, oh, I think my mom's going to like this. So that's for my mother-in-law. This sucked me in at the cash, cash register. This is a NYX or NYX fat lip drip oil. So I think it's new. I don't know if you can tell on camera, but it's got the most beautiful shimmer. They also kind of had this jelly formula looking one as well. But I have so many kind of like um, cream lip glosses lately that I thought this one would just be really pretty for like the spring and summertime with a little bit of that shimmer. So I'm assuming it's gonna be a pretty like thin formula. Lip oils usually are. I really wanted to try this yesterday, but I'm like, no, I wanna haul it first. So gorgeous and it's in the color supermodel this was this was nine dollars yep okay <clears throat> then i got this because i needed a new mascara and eyeliner i'm running low i like to try all different mascaras out high-end or drugstore um but I usually get the same eyeliner, which I love the Benefit Roller roller Liner, I believe is what it's called. But I don't know. I just wanted to try something different. I do love liquid eyeliner, though. So I saw this set at Ulta, and it was $32, which I thought, honestly, was a pretty good deal for Lancome. Because I'd assume that their mascaras alone are probably close to $30, and it's a full-size mascara and eyeliner for $32, so 
thought I would test it out. This is what the back looks like. Again, I kind of want to try this. I'm going to do my makeup after I haul this, after I finish this haul video. So I want to try this out. So let's open this up. I'm like trying to be careful also because I did just paint my nails. Um, let me see. Can I use something else? I just don't want to like ruin my nails. I know I shouldn't worry about that, but I feel like I always ruin my nails right when I paint them. Okay, here, little tweezers. Let's open this. Okay. So it's in tissue paper, which usually these like little gift sets are wrapped in tissue paper or like little fun, um, what are they called? Little fun like samplers. Okay, nothing in this one. So it must be in this bundle. Ooh, it's so pretty. It's kind of like a rose gold packaging. So this is the mascara. I've honestly heard nothing about this mascara. Like I said, I just got it because it was in a set and it seemed like a good value. And then here is the eyeliner. Just want to see. Ooh, that looks exactly like the Benefit Roller liner eyeliner I usually use. So I think I'm going to like that. So um, yeah, that is the mascara and liner set I got. Then one other thing, well, two other things I got sucked into, but they're both perfumes, but they're like little kind of sample size, but they're not just the normal like little roller ball. It's kind of like in the adorable perfume bottle, but mini. And I actually thought that they were a pretty good deal. So this one is the Good Girl Carolina Herrera, or is it Carolina? Um, this set was, um, I'm just looking at my receipt. Do, do, do. Oh, there, $35. And then this is the Victor and Rolf Flower Balm, Flower Balm, I said Balm, Flower Balm set and this was $29. So I'm curious. I, I didn't actually see this one. So I'm not sure how small the bottles are in here. But I thought actually these little high heels were a really good size. And I've been super curious to try this perfume. The regular Good Girl. So it's very Good Girl Glam. And then Good Girl. So let's open this up. Like how cute are these um high heels it's literally a miniature of her full size which the full size perfume is quite expensive um i think the one of the bigger sizes is definitely over a hundred dollars look at these heels oh my gosh i love it so how do you use this oh oh okay i gotta be careful i almost just dumped it out so it's a little like dabber bottle so you just put your finger in and my finger is full of fuzz from that box so you basically just kind of drip it on your finger and then you can kind of dab it on your neck or your wrists. So that is this one. I should just smell it, shouldn't I? Ooh, oh my gosh, it's so good. Um, I don't think the notes are on here. No, so I'll put the notes on the screen. And let me smell this one. Oh my gosh, gotta be careful. Ooh, that one's pretty too. This one smells more like sweet, almost fruity, sweet, fruity, feminine. This one seems a little bit more um, maybe date night or maybe fall, fall, winter. This one's more spring, summer. I don't know, but how cute. I'm in love with these high heels. And then let's see what these little bottles look like. So it's got a little like sticker up here. Oh my gosh, that's adorable. I really like that. So this one is Flower Bomb and Flower Bomb Ruby Orchid. And then this is the size. So 0.24 fluid ounces. So I'm not sure what size a rollerball is. Maybe it is a rollerball size, but just instead of in a roller, bo roller bottle form, it's in like almost a miniature bottle. And then I should have looked. This one is also 0.24. For some reason, these ones look way bigger than this but it's the same um same fluid ounces so it's crazy though how like packaging can make it seem like something's way bigger or way smaller 
So like I said, these are both the same sizes, but it just feels like the high heel has more product for some reason. But yeah, these are adorable and I have a feeling that it's going to be the same. Do I twist? Yes. So it's basically like this. So you just kind of got to dab it on your finger and then kind of dab it onto your neck or your wrist. So let me smell. Ooh, that's pretty. A little bit light, but I don't want to dab it on myself yet because... I don't know, it's the end of the day, I'm not going anywhere, so. <laughs> hmm, okay, like I said, I'll have to report back, I'll put the notes on the screen again. I'll have to report back when I actually use it on myself, but these are just so adorable, I couldn't pass them up. And I just really wanted to try, like, I, it's hard to buy a full-size perfume and just not know if you're gonna like it, so I actually love these little perfume sets, I think they're adorable, and honestly... It's going to take me forever to get through even just these little bottles, so I would just rather buy cute little samples like this because I just love miniatures. So um, anyway, wow, this ended up being a 30-minute um, first haul segment of May. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this segment, and I will be back when I have some more Happy Mail or any other fun things to haul. Hi everyone. So I have a little haul portion I want to share. Just one candle and one little Happy Mail package. So the first thing I figured I'd show just for fun is this birthday cake homeworks candle that I picked up from Home Goods for $16.99. It says compare at $25, but I feel like it's $30 on the um, homeworks website. I don't know. But anyway, I feel like $16.99 is such a good deal because when they have sales, I think the candles are more like $20 on sale. So still a good deal from Home Goods. So again, birthday cake. It says vanilla cake, whipped cream, caramelized sugars, and happy wishes. So this is what it looks like, the four wick. Mm, I think it smells so pretty. And yes, I probably will save this to burn it on my birthday. Um, just kind of for fun but um, to me birthday cake usually smells more like a white cake batter that's kind of what it smells like to me very sweet but more batter rather than like baked freshly out of the oven but anyway I thought this was so cute so I'm just gonna put it like on my shelf for now as de decor then one small um, sticker package in the mail from Miss and Meow that's her little beautiful sticker. And I think this is kind of the banner on her website. Miss and Meow. This is the packaging with the beautiful rose gold foil on the envelope. Beautiful. So I kind of forgot about this order. I made it on, um, I think, April 25th, maybe. Let me look at my invoice. Uh, yes, April 25th, and yes, this is very early to be getting a fall kit, but I saw it and fell in love. Fall is my absolute favorite holiday, so holiday, oh my gosh, season. So whenever I start seeing fall kits, which yes, it's early, I bought a fall kit in April, um, I just, it spoke to me, I loved it. We had just recently that weekend that this came out, I think. We had hung out with Brandon's family and his sister was also like, oh, I love fall. We have to do apple orchards. And when I saw this kit then, it immediately made me think of that. So I was like, you know what? I just want to pick it up. And then I got a few extras as well. So let me take this out of the cello. And let's go through the other things that I picked up first. Um, so first... First things first, here's the freebie that I got. It doesn't really match the kit, but it's so functional. This is, is this rose gold? I think it's rose gold foil and it's a beautiful like uh, lilac, kind of gray, dusty purple. So functional, I love these icons. And I picked up some icons because I just think they're so pretty. And I pick up the icons in the blush colorway. I have a couple other of these little... I would compare them to maybe like a $2 Tuesday kind of a size sheet, like not even quarter sized, a little bit smaller. Um, actually, this is the quarter size like deco. So yeah, it's like half of that size. 
but perfect for the amount of icons. I mean, it's a ton on here and they're the perfect size. But anyway, she has a lot of different colorways and if you can see, it's very, very gentle of a gradient, but it's lighter and then goes to a little bit deeper of a blush pink. Um, so yeah, these are adorable. They are $2.95. So that's the makeup bag, luggage, and then again, kind of an ombre, and these are all in the blush colorway. The Happy Mail, that's just so adorable. And the cooking tools, because we are trying to cook more at home. So I thought maybe this will inspire me to cook more. Then I picked up the kit plus um, a few different add-ons. So let's go through the four page kit first. Um, the four page kit is in gold foil and it is $27.85. Um, and I feel like on a release weekend, it was maybe a little bit more at a discount or maybe that was the discount, I don't know. I get a little confused cause it's like in Canadian and then it converts so I don't know. I think maybe that's Canadian, actually. Or is that USD? I don't know. Just check her website for the the um, the prices. So this is Spiced Apple. She actually had a kit kind of similar to this last year, I believe, if I remember correctly. But it had like a um, like apple pie recipe on it. It was so cute. I picked that one up last year and had used it. Oh, I just love how like detailed all the boxes are. I think it's so pretty. Again, gold foil, and then a couple like labels. This is the um, date covers, headers, some of the icons. I always cut this right here if I still have most of the icons left of the kit so I can kind of keep using them because they're so adorable. Here's kind of the boxes page. And then here's the bottom washi, so pretty. So this is just cut out like this. And then there is that little separation if you do want to separate it from the sidebar. And then these are tiny, tiny little scallop pieces that go across. So all four pages are foiled. So that's the base kit. Then I added on a couple extras. So you saw I showed the deco. Sometimes I add this on, sometimes I don't. If I usually just get like one kit, I'll usually kind of add in this for fun. And then I got both pages of her decorative sticker kit. So you could get them individual, but I thought, you know what, let me just get both and I'll experiment. This one I really liked because it's almost like that Sadie Stickers page where it has a couple other boxes that I feel like I could kind of pull into the memory spread. Don't use these ones as much. I probably wouldn't use those date um, days of the week as much, but I'll experiment. And then this page, I would much prefer deco this size, but I love these um, like floral cutout washi strips. I feel like if I see them in add-ons, I always get the page with those. I kind of wish she included the little, you know, basically like Sadie stickers where it's the two longer strips and then there's also little floral trims that kind of fit in the days of the week but I will experiment and play around with it just thought you know what let me grab it and then in the future when I order from Miss and Meow if I don't utilize these pages I just won't pick them up next time but that is everything that I picked up from Miss and Meow and my fun little candle that I wanted to share in this portion of the haul. Hi everyone. So I have one planner Happy Mail sticker package that arrived in the mail. Um, it's about mid-May. I'm recording this on May 18th. So I don't know how many more. I mean, I think there's a couple more um, sticker shops I'm expecting in the mail, but not too much. So there might not be too much more segments of this haul video. Um, let me take out my invoice really quick. This was during the, what was this? Was this an anniversary? No. I can't, I feel like there was a special, something special about this. 
Let me look at this. Do, do, do. Okay, I made my order on April 26th. It shipped on May 8th. Okay, so I just took out my invoice. So let's see. This is the little... Um, oh, that's right. Um, this had the little summer... What were these? Summer limited edition scribblers. And it's all in some fun different uh rainbow colors so let's oh yes okay so this is the spc nine year freebie so it was her nine year shop anniversary um and then this is a little journaling card i've gotten in most of my orders um i love this one i think there were multiple different colorways i'm so glad i got the light pink i think that's so cute there's andrea's little scribblers and then some fun functional icons so i'll put that right there um, also, I think these are freebies. What did I get? One, two, three, four. Yes, I purchased these. No, I purchased these items and then everything else was like freebies. So this was a freebie. I just recently watched Andrea's new release video and she had mentioned that this from the vault sticker pack was a tiered freebie in the nine year uh, nine year anniversary orders. So let's go through this little freebie. Look at how cute that sticker is. So these are just like, um, what did she say in the release video? It was, I, I think, overstock items. Like, it's not oops or anything. So it's not like a normal kind of like rack bag or anything like that. So just some overstock fun items. So we have these um, dollar signs, a little Valentine's Day sampler, a little, I think this is like a copper food doodles some page flags, a countdown. Well, you could use this for anything. It's like the months. Um, these look like this might have been part of like a bougie bundle. So there's like when she did kind of those half cut headers, headers and then full box. Let's see if that's, oh, that might be, I don't know what's on that one. Um, Full boxes, some more full boxes, heart washi strips, and then these full color washi strips um, that I think came in a Christmas advent one year, possibly, because I had ordered an advent and some of these different um, opaque kind of colored washi strips were in there. And that's in gray and orange. So that was my little from the bolt grab bag and then i think maybe this was a tiered freebie too because i didn't order this um foil bundle this is so functional i love snowflakes i live in minnesota so winter is like the longest season here but um yeah so this was just a freebie i think um i'll go through this quick it looks like it's the full the full bundle so there's the first page you get two pages of these two pages of the bougie boxes. Oh, oh, I love that this is the, I think like version two, where it's a snowflake bougie, not just the little tiny dots, the icons and scripts, and then the bottom washi date dots. So I will totally utilize this in the winter. Then, we have what I ordered. So I ordered the limited edition scribblers in the summer colorway, is that right? Summer, summer bundle. So I ordered Sloane, she's the character that looks, I would say most like me, she's got the black hair. So we have red, and I always wanted um, the variety scribblers. So I thought this would be a perfect one to pick up, red orange, yellow, green, blue, purple, pink, and gray. So this, um, all these colors came in the bundle. 
and this bundle was $17.95 for all these colors. So that was the Summer Limited Edition Scribblers. Honestly, the Scribblers is kind of why I ended up making my order. Um, and then all these kits that I ended up picking up are actually older kits, if I remember correctly. Older kits that I've always kind of had my eye on, never made the purchase and finally decided, you know what, I'm just going to grab them because I've had my eye on them since they came out. This one I think is the oldest one. I literally always wanted to pick this up but just never did and I'm like you know what I'm just gonna get it I love the colors of this kit I love this pretty travel theme I love when boxes are a little bit more full so I was like let's pick it up I don't know exactly when I want to use this I am going on a trip to Lake Tahoe around Memorial Day weekend but I don't know if I want to use this I want to I'm thinking more of like a nature kind of kit but I've just had my eye on it. So this is called Wanderlust. Let's open this. Because it is older, I wonder if it's like an older format. Let's see. Here's the freebie. Then we have the full boxes. Oh my gosh, I just love these colors. There's some more full boxes. There's the glitter headers. Is it? An, actually, it looks pretty up to date, I think. Oh no, it's a little bit older because the um, her washi nowadays, I think, is the split bottom washi. So it's a little bit of an older format, but the kit is just so gorgeous, I had to pick it up. Then, let's put that back in the bag. Again, this one was called Wanderlust. Then I got Brunch. I just thought the colors were beautiful. It looks like a pretty summer kit to me, like June or something like that. This is the freebie of this kit. There's the gorgeous full boxes. Some more food boxes, love that. Let me breeze through this kit. Looks like it may be the same format as the Wanderlust one we just went through. There's the bottom washi. So pretty. I don't know. It just screams like summer picnic to me. So that was the brunch kit. Then the last kit is kind of different. It wasn't a mystery, but... It was some kind of like bundle she had done. Again, these are all pretty old, but this one was more expensive than the typical ultimate kit because I think there's an extra page or two in it. So this one was some kind of like limited edition kit she was doing at the time. And I think she had a couple, maybe two different ones that had the extra page or two in it. So we've got the full boxes. I thought this would be perfect on a week where it's just full work week, really busy. I may do this kit um, in my planner the week um, the interns start on my team. So beautiful colors. Oh, this comes with a double box right there. Actually, what am I doing? Let me put that like that. There's this page, um, glitter headers. It looks like there's the bottom washi this is an extra page so we have two extra pages this one with the laptops and all these extra boxes which i love i'll definitely utilize and then this one with like the fashion girls and the bottom washi right here so this is like kind of a deluxe extra deluxe kit um because it had those two extra pages so that is my big order from Scribble Prints Co. Oh, sorry. I hope the sun wasn't always in the video. I think it just came out. But um, there's my order from Scribble Prints Co. Hi, everyone. So I have a little order in from the Pretty Pink Co. 
I literally just got it from the mailbox because we just came back from our walk and I got the notification that it was delivered. So I went to get it. I don't think she has invoices. Okay, cool. So I don't have to worry about that. So this was a $2 Tuesday when she was doing like tropical leaves, hibiscus, monstera, um, kind of a theme, which I love. Love monsteras. They're like my favorite. Also, sorry for the little bit of sun. Let me try zooming in so you can't see the sun. There you go. Um, I just really wanted to record it. And no matter what way I turn my blinds, I can't get that little tiny sun patch to go away. So this is the beautiful packaging in gold. And then they hand letter your name. So pretty. Um, let me see if I can open it carefully. Yes, I was able to. So I almost waited until they had like, I forget it was some kind of sale they were running, but I ended up making a purchase and I'm so glad because by the time the sale rolled around, which I don't think I ended up making a purchase from that, this $2 Tuesday um, had already left the shop and they had done a different $2 Tuesday theme. So I'm so glad I just made my order because I love Monsteras. Okay. So all of this stuff was $2. Oh, wow. I actually did kind of get a lot. Okay. So here is my shop freebie. Thank you for your purchase in silver. It looks like kind of a spring freebie. That's so gorgeous. Love it. And it is on the matte, transparent matte. Really pretty. And then I put in Lauren 15's coupon code to get her free uh yeah her freebie but because it's two dollar tuesday it didn't actually take off any percentage but you do get the freebie the pr freebie so again this is transparent matte and then this is a gold i think i think she has gold and light gold maybe but i everything i got was just in the regular gold but yeah i think she has different different gold options I can't tell I think this is regular gold really pretty and functional then here's my order so I got does it say oh it does say on there um I think all I got was gold and rose gold because I didn't think I was gonna use this as much in like silver and hollow this kind of theme it screamed more like summertime maybe spring summertime kits and I just feel like of the kits that make sense with this theme it would probably be gold or rose gold so I got Monstera Leaves Mini so this is kind of like deco and then I got Monstera Leaves Mini in rose gold tropical foliage these are different kind of leaves there are some Monsteras but then there's other leaves in there tropical foliage rose gold that that must be what I did I must have gotten one of each in the different foils leaves large so then let me just show in comparison I don't think there was like a medium size but I could be wrong here's the size difference so this one I probably wouldn't use well I might use it in my planner I don't know I just wanted to get it because it was cool oh yeah, I don't know. Some I must have just gotten one color of each. And then here's the Monstera Line Deco journal. So kind of the same size. It's on the larger size, but this one's filled in and this one's like the outline. And then Monstera Leaf Divider. And there's Rose Gold. Ooh, this one's pretty. Tropical Strings. Go. tropical strings again rose gold tropical garland rose gold tropical clusters Ooh, I like that and then mini palm trees so those are the these little sheets and then I got some washi as well so I got Monstera Leaf Washi, so 
This kind of looks like the divider, I think. So pretty. These are so thin, these strips. They're like thinner washi strips than the uh, Sadie Sticker ones. And then Tropical Leaf Washi 3. So this one only comes with enough for one spread, basically, if you were to put on both sides of the planner. I don't mind if it comes with one. I just really like when it's an even amount because if it's like three three washi strips or five washi strips I never know what to do with the extra one so I kind of I don't mind as long as it's an even amount there is hibiscus washi oh that's pretty did I get oh okay tropical leaf washi too in gold and then I got this in rose gold so that was my Pretty Pink Co. $2 Tuesday order that I just wanted to share with you all.